In this video, we're going to look at how to get form data in JavaScript. So one of the key roles for JavaScript is to get data from a user and then do something with it, like possibly validate it or send it to one of your external services. So let's take a look at a couple of different ways that you can get data from a HTML form with your JavaScript code. So we've got a simple registration form here asking for three bits of information. And you can see the input boxes have their own ID, which means we can select them with JavaScript quite easily. So the first approach to getting form data in JavaScript would be to go through each one of the inputs in the form that you're dealing with and extract each value from the input box. So with the element selected, we can just access its value property. And if we actually type something into the username field now, you can see we can extract that value and then it can be saved into a variable to be used later on. So whilst this approach might work okay for small forms, because you'll need to write a query selector for each of the input elements in the form, it'd be much better if we could just access the registration form and request all the values for all of the input boxes that are inside that form. So we could do this with a query selector all function and just selecting all of the inputs on the page probably isn't a great idea, so we could scope that to the registration form via its ID. And that actually gives us a node list back with all of the input boxes. So you could then loop through this and extract all the values for the input boxes by setting up their ID as the variable name and setting the value of that variable to the value that's inside the input box. But that's still a bit manual, so let's write a reduce function that will reduce this node list into a single object with all the key value pairs for the input boxes. So we first need to wrap the query selector all into an array.from to actually convert the node list into an array. If we didn't do this, we couldn't call the reduce function as it's not a function available on a node list, only an array. And using the reduce function, I'm going to loop through each item in the list and then set up new key value pairs based on the ID and value of the input field. And it looks like I've got a typo in the query selector that I made there. So as you can see, this is a handy little function that will allow us to get all of the values from our registration form and we could use that to apply validation, for example, to check if the password and confirm password boxes match, or if we're happy with those values, we could post that off to an external service that we own. And you can apply that function to any form, as long as you adjust the query selector to match the form that you're working with. 